What is going on guys, it's Wade again. Today we're back after a few month hiatus and today I'm bringing you a special review on Trifecta Tobacco's Dark Blend on their true grape flavor. Trifecta is a newer brand to the market. They gained popularity with their Twice the Ice Extreme flavor known as being, and I can confirm, the mintiest mint on the market. So powerful you can't really even smoke it alone, but it's an exceptional mixer. They came out with their Dark Blend early 2016, this year obviously, and True Grape is going to be one of the newest additions to that line. You can see the cut on Dark Blend is very finely chopped, very akin to the other dark leaf, modern modern dark leaf on the market, Starbucks Vintage. Uh, very finely chopped, lots of juice, but it smokes amazing. I like to pack this. I prefer to smoke Trifecta's Dark Blend with foil, so I like to pack it Pretty dense, not quite Tangier's dense level, but pretty dense uh, all the way around. Uh, just below the rim, right just to the spire, maybe a little bit above, depending on your bowl. bowl. Today I'm using the Goodfella V3, one of my favorite bowls for foil and the Lotus, honestly. Um, we're using three Cocoa Earth Cube Coals with the Flavor Saver. I like the Flavor Saver because it gives me a little bit of extra space, lets the bowl heat up a little bit more before, without singeing it. And when the coals start to die down, I'll take the flavor saver off and just pop the coals right on the bowl. What does true grape smell like? Well, let's take a quick sniff. Heavenly. It smells pretty great, honestly. Pretty great, honestly. Sorry. Um, it's kind of, it's a natural grape, but it comes off very tart, very, more tart than it comes across in the smoke but it's still a very natural grape, more like a grape that's not quite ripe yet, but it's still definitely a very natural grape. And it's a white grape versus a red grape, so you know what to expect. Now the flavor translates pretty well to the smoke, as far as the aroma goes, but today I'm about probably 20, 30 minutes into my session. The bowl is fully heated up. Let me show you some clouds. Now this is about the point where I normally take the coals off of the flavor saver and just put them right on the bowl. So I'll go and do that and be right back with the flavor description. Today I'm using my Starbuzz Challenger Hookah with a Sheikah base, trusty aluminum D-hose, obviously the Goodfellow V3, and three Cocoa Earth Cube coals. I just took the cubes off of the flavor saver. Let me show you some clouds now. So you can see Dark Blend takes heat pretty well for being a modern dark leaf. Um, it doesn't need a lot of heat to get going, that's why I like to use a flavor saver at first and then ease the heat on as the session goes on. Now the flavor tastes kind of different from what you smell initially. It tastes more like, think of the juiciest white grape you've ever had and just bite into it and it's just overflowing with juice and that's all you get in your mouth and it's very sweet and there's no real tartness to it. That's the kind of smoke you're gonna get out of this. Let me take another puff. Ooh, delicious. Now that tart note does actually come through a little bit more towards the end of the session. The sweetness kind of backs off, and that tart note will come in right towards the end of the exhale, and it just gives it an overall nice natural grape flavor. And it's just, it is probably no, it is the best grape flavor on the market, in my humble opinion. That's going to about wrap it up for the review. Uh, you can pick this up over at trifectatobacco.com. It is a pre-release, so it's not quite out yet, but it should be available in the next batch. It is phenomenal, and if you're a fan of white grapes in general, I absolutely highly recommend you pick this up. It is fantastic flavor. I had to hold off on smoking this before I made this review, just because I didn't have it. It's just that good. Anyway, thank you for watching. This is Wade on Ahuka. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next review. Hopefully it won't be as long of a hiatus this time. Later.